Okay, so as you're blending and fading for the face, you wanna make sure that the left side is slightly darker than the right. So now that I'm looking, I would have to go back and refine and add a little bit more value on the left to get the left side overall to be darker than the right. So you will have to go back once you're kind of done. If you're having issues with what value things should be in the Google Classroom, there's this picture, a better picture. Uh, it says Venus, grayscale, it's a Google Doc. So the other thing is in small areas, like in her lips, around the eyes, the crease above the eye, like shadow inside the eye socket, uh, I used the mechanical pencil. So you got mechanical pencil. And then on the hair, um, I noticed like I got a little bit too dark here. There's actually a piece of highlight there. So I used the eraser and I erased out. And then when I was done with the hair on this side, let's see if I can show you guys a little zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit blurry, but I went back and I added strands of hair. So the strands of hair, I didn't pay attention to the flipping and changing. I just paid attention to the whole section of hair and added like lines for the hair. So the texture looked different than the face. So again, when you're shading the face, make sure you do a lot of comparing, like how much darker is the cheek than the nose? How much darker is the nostril than the cheek? How much darker are the lips compared to the skin, which I need to darken my lips a little bit. The other thing is um, like the shadow above the chin. I added the shadow first and then I added graphite and blended on top. So that might be a way to kind of look at your five parts of light, especially shadows. Uh, same thing on the nose. I noticed there's a slight shadow that kind of ran along the side. So I added that first. And then I faded on top, which actually this should be slightly darker. So this area probably needs the most refining, but you wanna make sure that with your sections or divisions, that it shows up even in the hair. So it flips and changes. Like here it's darker along that division, therefore it's lighter above. So your divisions happen even in the hair, and of course in the face and in the negative space. Okay, good luck. I'm really excited to see your finished practices.